No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. This place isn't too crowded. It gives me room to hang around and think for a bit. Better take advantage of that. <sighs> Nothing's changed today either. Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard, but she did it. It's pieced together with scraps of cloth, not the best quality. Even still, Chihiro took it with her wherever she went. They came ashore during the air raid. They're enormous, must be over 30 meters tall. Instead of wheels, they move on long leg-like appendages. Quite a terrifying sight. Like something out of hell. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there, hiding behind all those elaborate curtains. That's Sentinel. It's what brought me here. any stars in this era. Though I have to say, the city lights are a sight to behold. You can hardly throw it. We're just the Sentinel and I brought here. That thing is beyond me. I'm no expert, but I know it's capable of some extraordinary feats. Time travel, though. Could the Sentinel possess an ability like that? Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. But on that day, at that moment, that fantasy became a reality. All out of flying bombs. Electromagnetic rounds are offline. Outputs drop by 50% in both electromagnetic battering rams. There are just... too many of them. But I'm not about to just sit here and die. I still have two minutes before I hit my operating limit. Might as well give it everything I got. reached its operating limit. Where am I? The air raid. Everything was just on fire. All these giant towers with glass windows? What the hell's going on? <sighs> the last thing I remember 
is being surrounded by those new American weapons, and... No. It can't be. I've heard about major U.S. cities. These high-rise buildings are common. Was I captured? And they got my Sentinel, too? They must have done it when I lost consciousness. Brought me to the mainland as their... No, wait. If the Sentinel just reached its operating limit, then not very much time could have passed. But this view says otherwise. It's not my homeland. Somehow, I ended up on U.S. soil. If that's the case, fine. I guess this is where I'll die. But I'm not going down without a fight. I'll face the enemy, even without my Sentinel. Uh, the Sentinel. This is bad. The Sentinels are top secret. It can't fall into enemy hands. it hit its operating limit. Considering everything it's been through already, I can't expect it to perform at full capacity. Sentinel. The enemy cannot get their hands on the Sentinel. That's the kind of issue that becomes a national crisis. But what can I do? I can't activate now, let alone initiate self-destruct. I need to slow down and think things over. I should probably go lie low until the Sentinel recovers. But not because I'm afraid. My country. My little sister. I'd give my life for them at the drop of a hat. But I have to be smart right now. And that means waiting for the Sentinel to be up and running. fast. I should get out of here before American soldiers show up. I'll stay out of sight until it's the right time to move. Everyone here appears to be Japanese. But something's off. These signs show both kanji and the English alphabet. Ashitaba Printing, Ashitaba Bank. Why are they named after my hometown? You want to stop by the arcade? Sure. The one at Sun Mall? Nah, the one at Joyland. Let's go try out those big new Sega machines that came in. I have no idea what they're talking about, but their language doesn't sound foreign to me. Did you see him in last night's episode? Yeah. Oh, he's so amazing. Right? I watch everything he's in. Female students. Though that's quite a bit of exposed leg. It almost seems like a different dialect. But it's definitely Japanese. in America. It looks like Japan, but everything seems off. This is all just a terrible dream. Right? Right. It's nothing to worry about, just my brain acting up. That's why my surroundings appear to be different. We knew what the risks were going in as Sentinel pilots. Professor Doji made it all very clear to us. That's right. This has happened before. I experienced a similar illusion during the Sentinel Sync test. He's wearing a boy's school uniform, but appears to have a girl's haircut. Hmm. Huh? The hell are you looking at? 
This one has a particularly strange hairstyle. Hey, you trying to get your ass kicked? It looks like... I've finally gone crazy. Do you want to see crazy? Hey, stop! I think I remember. Some guy with weird hair hit me with his bag. This doesn't look like a detention facility. Either I'm still seeing things, or someone removed me from the Sentinel. Whoever it was brought me to some kind of lab. A box-shaped Technicolor projection device. The Sentinel has its own spatial projector as well. But that's highly confidential military technology. Uh, it's about baseball. I'm not in a military base, am I? It's a calendar. 1985? It's all in my head. It's just an illusion. Foreign phonograph records. Takatoshi-san used to let me listen to his. Why are there so many records here? There are way more than I saw at the Hijiyamas. Math. Modern Japanese. Lots of textbooks lined up here. Japanese history. So I really am still in Japan then. <sighs> this can't be right. 1945. The year of Japan's unconditional surrender. Surrender? We lost the war? 1945. That's this year. August 6th. Atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. 140,000 killed. Three days later, second bomb dropped on Nagasaki. 70,000 killed. All from just two new American bombs. What is this book? 1951. U.S.-Japan Security Treaty signed. 1964. Tokyo Olympics? How far does this go? Wait. What did that calendar say? Nineteen eighty-five. It has to be fake. When was this printed? It says here. Nineteen eighty-five. Could it really be? You okay? Here. It's so cold. That's all that was in the fridge. <clears throat> wow. Not a big fan of soda, I take it? Some kind of carbonated beverage? I had ramen once at a festival in Tsutsuji, but I was just a kid. Who are you? I'm Shu Amiguchi, and we're at my apartment in Kamazumi. Keitaro Miura. So, how did I get here? I called a taxi and brought you over after you got knocked out. 1985. Am I still in Japan? But in the future? So you helped me. Guilty. You know, you really pushed Ogata over the edge. He was already pissed from being chewed out. If he gets in trouble one more time, he's getting suspended. Be real nice if you two could work things out peacefully. I need to know one thing. What year is it? Uh, what? Afraid you had knocked into a coma for the last few years? 
Relax, you didn't get hit that hard. It's still 1985, all right? You haven't missed a day. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is... <sighs> Nothing's changed. I wonder if that's the place Amiguchi Kun lives. Must be out of their minds to live so high up. Gives me the chills just thinking about it. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there, hiding behind all those elaborate curtains. That's Sentinel. It's what brought me here. I don't care that we lost. I'm proud my country could rebuild after what happened. But I won't accept this future. Now that I know we lose the war, that's all the more reason to go back. I'll bring the Sentinel with me, and I'll change history. It's my duty to fight and protect the people. I have to save as many of them as I can. But what if it's impossible for me to go back? What if I'm trapped here? Shihiro. All right, that's enough. Get it together. Don't get discouraged. You will make it back. No matter what it takes. Hmm. I wonder. What if I never actually traveled through time? It's possible that space-time here is warped somehow. But it could just be a local effect. I should try heading toward the school. Maybe time is flowing normally over there. Hurry up, Miwa-chan! Slow down, Iori-chan! Female students. Looks like the school's still here. Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. To think it ever become a reality. Isn't that... Hey, hold on! <laughs> Mirakun? Thank goodness! You're Natsuno Minami, right? The one I met at the shrine. What are you doing here? I've gotta say... You had me pretty worried. I had no idea where you went. I just... I can't believe you're here, too. I couldn't find you anywhere. I thought you got snatched up and hauled off to Area 51. But anyway, what have you been up to? Wait, first... Where have you been? <sighs> A kind student's been letting me stay at his place. Aside from that, I've been sleeping outdoors. Outdoors?! This is my mess, so I have to figure out how to clean it up. But then again... Hmm... I can't really bring a boy into the house. Oh yeah! Granny Tamal went on a trip. So Juro-kun should be the only one home. That house does have a lot of rooms. Granny Tamal? 
hurry. Let me go grab my stuff really quick. I'll be right back, so just wait here. Then we'll head over to the Karabe's house. Karabe? Managed to leave quite the dent. Chihiro? <laughs> you don't have to cry. It's not like you did this on purpose. I'm sure Uncle isn't mad about it anymore. What about you? Are you mad? Of course not. I'm your big brother. I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. Now, come on out. So, how do you hit the pillar with the laundry bucket? You must have been playing pretty rough. The bunny was biting. And it beat up giant ghosts. As the ghosts smash all the houses. And more of them keep coming. Such strange ghosts. Did you come up with them yourself? No, Tamao told me about them. I'm sorry, Chihiro-chan. My father has quite a short temper. I'm sorry. This was all my fault. Tamao-san? It only happened because I told Chihiro-chan about my dreams. Is it okay for you to be awake right now? Mm-hmm. I've been feeling much better lately. And I have Goto-san from Tokyo to thank for that. He's been sharing some foreign medicine with me. It's just that... Ever since I started taking it, I keep having strange dreams. But they feel like more than just dreams. They're like memories that I just suddenly remember. <sighs> the sirens. This is bad. Turn on the radio. Military broadcast. Air raid alarms have been sounded. Enemy is flying at low altitude. More air units to be expected to prepare against the coming invasion. We ask all citizens to unite as we fortify our air defenses. It's a massive enemy raid. We have to hurry to a bombproof shelter. Come on, Chihiro chan. We have to go. Jiro kun, are you home? Minami san. Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Minami-san, I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're Yakushiji-san, our classmate? Wait, no way, are you two... Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just... You know... Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in! Pardon my interruption. <sighs> so this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kinda complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? Thanks, see ya! Not 
Kitsuno-san. Get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite... Yes. I admit, she's bright, cheerful, attractive. But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Natsuno-san, is this... It's fine, it's fine! I live super close by. So if you need anything, just let me know. There she goes. Well, this is awkward. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... I really don't want to be an inconvenience. Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? No, I shouldn't. Your stomach thinks you should. No, that was, uh... I'll go fix you a plate. So, Tamao-san is your grandmother? Is she in good health? Grandma? She's fit as a fiddle. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That's why she isn't here. Shimane... She must be with her mother's side of the family in Iwami. Do you... know my grandma? Yes. You do, huh? So then? How long do you need a place to stay? Not long. Just until I can make my way back home. Well, alright. If that's the case, it shouldn't be a problem. Just try not to cause any trouble. Feel free to use the guest room on the first floor. Thank you. There's a projection device where the radio used to be. It's been lightly remodeled, but it's the same house. I could have sworn it burned to the ground. <sighs> the damage on this pillar is missing. And it wasn't changed when they remodeled. If this really is the Karabe's house, then it should be right here. Chihiro left a dent in this pillar. Back on my parents' property, there was a wooden single-story house. It was built in the middle of the 20th century. That humble little place stood for about a hundred years. My grandfather often told me stories about it. Some of his fondest childhood memories were at that house. That sounds lovely. I'll have it produced for you. You will. But all I have left are old photographs. That's fine. I can restore them for you. Thank you, Mira-san. I'm looking forward to it. Oh. Were you just on a call with someone else? With Professor Karabe, yes. We were discussing the layout of the residential zone. Oh, that's right. Professor Karabe was born in the 21st century. She's 120 years old, right? I know that she's receiving nanomachine treatment, but she still looks so young. She's Professor Morimura's mentor, I right hear. Quite an intelligent individual. Well, yeah. She is the foremost expert on AI, after all. Right. Anyway, is something wrong? Why does something have to be wrong for me to call? Well, I just so happen to have a really urgent problem. I need emotional support stat. 
and I need it from you. Oh, that does sound urgent. Then I'll be waiting. Shikishima is a conglomerate with political ties. They made it big during the Meiji modernization. You always see their branches on Employer of the Year lists. Back in the Meiji era, they were shipbuilders. But they expanded into aviation and a bunch of other things. During the war, they did a lot of weapons R&D. And now they make everything from home appliances to rockets. Shikishima Industries is just one of those branches. Their machinery is known all over the world. Welcome back, Usami-chan. Thanks. Did Senpai wake up? Darn. I'm back. So how was it? Well... <laughs> About my apartment. The whole building was destroyed. Oh no. And, well, no one was there. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. Hiding, maybe. <sighs> so that's how it is. I wonder what else we can find. Here. Found him at a convenience store over there. Got enough for both of you. I'm not a big candy guy, so have at it. Thank you! There's three more convenience stores across the intersection. It's good. Plus the one right over there. How many of those things that do you future people need? <sighs> There's no time to be tired. What I need is a sugar rush. <laughs> well, not a lot we can do from here. If we're gonna go, we gotta head out before it gets dark. What do you think? You're right. Just let me rest for a sec. Check out the kaiju. Oh, where were they? Huh? Hey, wait! Miwako, stay back with that second here. Over here. Dead as a doornail, right? This is some kaiju. Looks more like a machine. Come to think of it, I was talking to Natsuno. Maybe this thing's a big alien weapon. Hmm? Is this a control panel? For an alien machine, it looks pretty familiar. Guess we're not so different. Nothing. Just thought I saw someone. Over there, in the rubble. Where? Maybe your eyes are playing tricks on you. I swear I saw it. Oh shit! Kisaragi, hide! Don't be stupid! What's your Hurry. deal? What is that? 
get back in here! Shikishima heavy machinery? If that's true, these machines were made for planetary development. What are they doing on Earth? Especially in the past. Hell if I know. sleep standing up. No, this is the same platform as before. The hell is this? We were in that train car, and then the whole thing got knocked off the line. So, how are we here? 
No way we would have walked away from an accident like that. Kisaragi, weren't you on that train too? How do we get back here? You mean the train I'm about to get on? You're... about to? Look, just... I need you to listen to me, okay? Uh, whoa, what are you getting so serious about? I'm saying I've been on this platform before. Well, duh, this is how you get to school every day. No, I mean, just now. I was here. Is this, like, a setup for a joke? No, wait. I remember. It wasn't even my train. I got on the semi-express to go after you, Kisaragi. You and I were together the whole time, right? Uh, I think I'd know if we were together. Not what I meant, but okay. You're being weirder than usual. Are you okay, man? You're very... Should have figured you assholes would still be here. Well, look what we got here. Ogata, most punchable face in the city. You guys need some new material. The hell are you trying to say to me? I think it's about time we settled our shit. <sighs> we already did. I beat your ass into the ground. I guess that didn't count either. What well, crawled up your ass anyway? Heard you were talking shit on the Kuriai gang. Saying all we got is strength in numbers. News to me. No more running! We settle this right here, right now. No more running. We settle this. Hey, hold on. What the heck's going on? Cut that out. Relax. I'm not gonna do the same fight twice. I don't have time for that shit anyway. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. <laughs> That's messed up, man. The hell did you just say? You want to say that again? Say it to my face. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you uh -oh. can't get on that. I can't, huh? So you can just decide that for me? It's not like... Like you can just tell me what to do. I'm so done with you. God damn it. It's just like before. Kisaragi always gets on that train, and the train always crashes. Once she's on, she's basically dead. How the hell can I make her understand? You're not listening to me, damn it! Because you're not making any sense. What, you just wanted to have the last word? Wait, that's it. This is the same thing as before. You got all mad at me. 
So I went after you. So, when was this? Well, can't do much now that I'm back here, I guess. You're such a psycho. I don't know if you're just a delinquent or whatever, but I've never liked thugs like you. Oh, yeah? Y yeah, guess I should have figured. think a little. Still, though... Uh. Hey, are you even listening? I'm back. It's happening all over again. think a little. Still, though. Uh, hey, are you even listening? Uh, I'm back. It's happening all over again. Who even is that voice? How'd I end up in this mess? Where the hell was I? It was like... I don't know. I feel like I saw it on some UFO show. Like an alien lab or something. It looked just like that. I was... butt naked, too. Hey, Kisaragi. You don't have some kind of key handy, right? What does that even mean? I have the key to my house. Is this it? Nah, probably not. I mean, hell, even I've got some house keys. We gotta do something! The kaiju are coming! What? Really? Where? I mean, like, not yet. They get here after we get on this train. How do you know that? Because I saw it. Uh... Shit, how do I explain? You're acting kind of weird. Yeah, it's really getting to me. I'm already sick of all this shit. But... What can I do? Hey, where are you going? Isn't that... I feel like I know that guy she's with. 
Who is he? Why are you being all sneaky? Uh, I don't know. No reason. Wait, that's Iori over there. <sighs> what are you hiding from Iori? That's not it. What? Don't tell me you like Iori. Hey, it's not like that. <sighs> Isn't that... Karabe? Hey! I'm still talking to you here. <sighs> hey! I'm still talking to... the question I want a real answer for real it's not like that then what is it like what do you care You're not my girlfriend why are you even getting so worked up <sighs> it's not a big deal I was just curious sheesh fancy meeting you here Usami-chan Iori, your place isn't this way, right? Where are you going with Okinokun? I've just got a thing over in Tsutsuji. There's the train. Let's go, Okinokun. Seriously, you're being really weird. Kizuragi's hanging around. Kinda hard to talk to Fuyusaka like this. They got on the train. What do I do? Go after them? Well, look what we got here. Ogata, most punchable face in the city. Great. This guy. What? You think you're better than me? Hey, you guys got this key thing? What key? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know, man. Just whatever keys you got. I, I had my motorcycle key. And my teacher took it away. Yeah, boo freaking who. I think it's about time we settled our shit. You gotta chill out, man. Oh, yeah? Do you think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? No time for this crap. How about we talk this out? How about screw you? Stay out of this, idiot. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. <laughs> That's messed up, man. You'd think that wouldn't get to me anymore. But hey, I'm still mad. <laughs> Describe it. Just... It's... It'll be really bad. Look. They're coming. This train's gonna get derailed. It's gonna be a huge accident, okay? Okay, whatever. My train's about to leave. I'm being serious here! You can talk shit on me if you want, but 
believe me just this once. Please, don't get on that train. So, what do I do instead? Let's just get out of the station. We gotta get out of here while there's still time. If we can just get outside this place, that's gotta change something. Fine. 